before we get started with the game recap, uh, it was announced about an hour before this game ended that Willie Mays had passed away and got to talk about it a little bit because Willie Mays is not just one of the most important baseball players of all time. He's one of the most important figures of probably the last 60 or 70 years as well. Um, an unbelievable baseball player. If you wanted to say that Willie Mays was the greatest player of all time, I wouldn't argue with you for too long. What he did defensively, what he did hitting for power, I mean, hitting for average as well. An incredible player, but so much more than a baseball player. So rest in peace to Willie Mays, one of the all-time great players and great people. Mariners win 8-5. to five. They improve to 44-31 and 31 on the season, and they take the first of the three-game series against the Cleveland Guardians. I almost forgot who the Mariners played. How could I forget? This game took forever. Uh, let's go over the scoring plays, and there are a ton of them. This is going to be a long video just reading these. Uh, Guardians get on the board first. Uh, Schneeman grounds into a fielder's choice to score Josh Naylor. 1-0 in the second. But in the third, the Mariners get four. J.P. Crawford homers to center to score Dylan Moore. Big Dumper doubles to center to score Josh Rojas. And Mitch Garver doubles to center to score Cal Rally. Four to one. Mariners get another in the fourth on a J.P. Crawford double to off the wall to score Dylan Moore again. Five to one. Mariners get another in the fifth. A Luke Rayleigh solo homer. Six to one. And the Mariners get a 7-1 lead in the sixth with a Dylan Moore homer. 7-1, like I said, at the end of six. Guardians start coming back a little bit. In the sixth inning, uh, Josh Naylor scores on a pickoff air by Bryce Miller and also a Brennan single to right to score J-Ram. Makes it 7-2. I reversed those scoring plays, whatever. Doesn't matter. Seventh inning, Mitch Carver grounds into a fielder's choice that scores Ty France. 8-3, to three, middle of the seventh. Uh, Guardians get another in the seventh on a Jose Ramirez infield single to first to score, I believe it was Jonathan Rodriguez. Yeah. Uh, eight to four, and then in the eighth, uh, Stephen Kwan beats out a double play ball to make it eight five. Mariners hang on and win a game that felt playoffish, not just in length, but in also like competitiveness. This this had a little bit of a playoff feel, and I'm going to be honest with you. Those three games against Texas did not have a playoff feel to me. They were huge wins. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't get that level of tension outside of the ninth inning on Saturday. And don't again, huge wins, huge, 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 huge. But there wasn't that playoff intensity that I felt from Texas. I kind of felt it from Cleveland. And of course there's 90 games to go. So let's all pump the brakes a little bit on what I'm saying, <laughs> but there was that intensity. Let me know if you agree in the comments, by the way, and please hit like, please hit subscribe. Let's talk about some negatives. I think there are some negatives today. Offensively, Julio had a horrible game. Horrible. Missed some pitches down the middle of the plate and swung at some sliders outside of the zone. Uh, and Dominic Kinzone had a rough one as well. Dominic Kinzone is a guy who is going to frustrate. And more often than not, so far this year, he's absolutely frustrated. Uh, Bryce Miller was not good today. You know, he the overall line of five and two third innings and two runs, five and two thirds innings, two runs. I don't know why I just said it twice. It felt like I said one of the words wrong. Whatever. Bryce Miller's command today was terrible. And he had very few swings and misses. 92 pitches, 57 strikes, only the two strikeouts, issues to two walks. I'm calling kind of BS on one of those runs being unearned because yes, the air that he made caused a runner to advance, but I think that run's going to score regardless. It was not a good game from Bryce Miller. It was not a good game from Taylor Sassetto. It was not a good game from Trent Thornton in particular. Uh, hits two batters, gives up the hit, gives up the earned run. And one of the real negatives here is that in a game that you led 7-1, to one, you had to give your get your closer into the game. Not only get him into the game, but get you five outs. In a game that you were controlling pretty easily, unfortunately, uh, Sacedo and Thornton weren't good enough. And 
They've got to get another bullpen arm. Uh, Gregory Santos could be the second coming of Eric Gagne, and I would still tell you that the Mariners need to get another bullpen arm. 100%. They need another high leverage arm. I think they agree with me. I hope they agree with me. But yeah, those are the negatives. We'll get into some positives, obviously, because they won a game and win it by three runs. What are you talking about, Chris? Well, right now I'm talking about Simply Seattle. The very best in Seattle sports gear. Great stuff for the Mariners. I love this King Griffey Jr. hat. But also great stuff for the Supersonics, the Huskies, the Cougars, the Storm, the Sounders, Seahawks. You can find it all at Simply Seattle. And then once you find it all, use code MOLLYWAP15, M-O-L-L-Y-W-H-O-P-1-5. It takes 15% off your order. It's a great deal from great people. I wholeheartedly recommend you check it out. Helps us, you know, that you're paying attention to the show. It also helps them, a local business, you know, win, win, win. I think that was a J-Rock song. I liked it quite a bit, actually. All right, positives. Uh, Awesome game from J.P. Crawford. And awesome to see there were two guys in the lineup that were really scuffling. J.P. Crawford and Dylan Moore. And they both had monster games. But in particular, it was great to see Crawford, who he was like one for 21 over the last few contests. Not great, but draws a couple walks, hits the homer, hits the double, drives in three runs. Need it. You need J.P. Crawford to be an on-base machine and to show some pop as well. Awesome game from him. Josh Rojas had a pretty good game. Uh, Big Dumper scorches a baseball off the center field wall. I think that would have gotten out in a lot of parks. I didn't see the what it dong on it or not, but and be mature. That, that is what it used to be called. Um, clobbered that baseball. Did a couple of not so great at bats too. Uh, welcome back, Ty France. Draws three walks, scores a run, makes a nice defensive pick. Um, I will say that there was a ball that was hit to him that. If he doesn't dive for it, he gets the out at second, and I don't think he needed to dive, but whatever. It's just nice to see a healthy Ty France back in the lineup. Uh, does draw those three walks, gets that OBP up to 335. Great to have him back. Uh, Luke Rayleigh, a couple hits, a big home run. Mitch Garver, I believe, had two doubles. There were a lot of extra base hits for the Seattle Mariners today. Crawford had one. Garver did have two. Uh, we'll talk about Dylan Moore in a sec. Josh Rojas with the double. And big dumper on top of three homers. It's a lot of extra base hits. It's nice to see against a pretty darn good pitching staff. Uh, Dylan Moore, boy, talk about a guy who needed it. He came in today not with a 380 slugging percentage in June. No, no, no. He came into today with a 380 OPS in June. That's bad. That's that's beyond bad. Atrocious. But he drove the ball three times tonight. He scored three runs. He hits the homer. He hits the double. Also steals a base. Boy, it'd be big to get Dylan Moore going too. I mean, this was as complete as the lineup looked, even with Julio having a terrible baseball game offensively. Made a couple of nice catches. But this was nice to see. The offense looked good tonight. They took good at bats. They drew seven walks. They only struck out nine times tonight. You know, that's it'd be nice if we saw more games where they get less than a strikeout per inning, but beggars can't be choosers. This is certainly a lot better than 19 or 14 or 16, which are all totals that we've seen very recently. This game was, I mean, it's kind of a weird one because I've talked about a tale of two halves from the Sixth inning on, which I guess is the tale of two-thirds and a third, but whatever. For for the first five and a half innings, the Mariners dominated this thing. And then from the next three and a third innings, or three and a half innings, excuse me. Words. I'm still pretty upset about Willie, if I'm being honest with you. I'm not going to make it about me, but it's a bummer. I would screw things up either way, but. Definitely have my mind on that right now. Um, But for those last three and a half innings, the Mariners did not play great, especially didn't pitch great. 
I'll tell you another positive here too. Oh, by the way, Andres Munoz was solid. Solid. Does give up the single, but able to get through that jam and work in the middle of the lineup. Very nice job. Obviously, he's not going to be available tomorrow. I can't imagine he's available tomorrow after throwing five outs and 22 pitches. But I think the one nice thing is even though you used one, two, three, four, five relievers tonight, I would say three of those guys are available because Austin Voth threw two pitches. I thought it was one, but it was two. And Ryan Stanek threw four pitches. If I was going to criticize Scott Service for anything tonight, I don't understand why you don't just keep Thornton in the game. Or excuse me, I don't understand why you don't just keep Stanton in the game. I probably would have just let him go. I think that they were probably being cognizant of, you know, the you do have a nine-game road trip, and now Stanek will absolutely be the guy if they get a save chance tomorrow that's tasked with it. But even Thornton will be available tomorrow because he only threw 12 pitches. Now, they were very ineffective. But for the most part, Trent Thornton has gotten the job done. It's funny, you take a look at some of the numbers of the bullpen guys and you kind of wonder, Chris, why are you complaining so much? But the eye test tells you, right? They need help in the pen. They absolutely need help in the pen. Uh, Tomorrow, we've got... Well, and here's another thing. Well, we'll talk about it now. Brian Wu going after the injury scare. Probably going to need your bullpen. I can't imagine he goes more than five innings, maybe six. You know, if he's extremely efficient and goodness knows he's been, done a good job of that, but the Guardians are going to make him work. The Guardians absolutely know what the game plan is tomorrow, I imagine. Make Brian Wu work. It should be anyway. They're a pretty smart team. Good team. 44 and 26. This was a good win. Did a lot of complaining at the beginning, but you got the win. And I think it's big because not only do you have a great chance to win the series now, you just got to take one of the next two, but you're putting yourself into that position of with how big of a lead you have in the division. And I need to see how big a lead they have right now. Okay, Google, what's the score of the Astros game? Okay, Google, what's the score of the Texas Rangers game? Okay, so you're going to be up either nine or ten games. Either way, you have such a big division lead. By the way, okay, Google should pay me for that. Um, please. Um, you're going to have such a big division to lead that you can look ahead to, I think, being that number two seed becomes something important. Getting that chance to set the rotation, all that. And I know I'm talking about something that is still 87 games away. But I can't help it. I can't help it. And getting wins against Cleveland right now, hopefully getting the tiebreaker because Cleveland won the first series against him. and also. Um, just having a better record. Cleveland, for whatever reason, well, some of it rain delay and just some of it weird scheduling, still has uh, played, I believe, five games less than, yeah, exactly, five games left, five games less than Seattle. So, yeah, good win. Saw some cracks, but ultimately, you get the W, and awesome job by JP, and awesome job by Dylan Moore, and Please hit like, please hit subscribe, but um, spend some time with your loved ones and uh, do some research on Willie Mays if you're not familiar with him. <laughs> you're probably very familiar with him, obviously, but because you're watching a baseball channel, but one of the all-time greats. Rest in peace, Willie.